Today we're going to talk about how to host a private Helm chart repository. We're going to be using a Helm plugin that provides S3 protocol support. Let's get started. You can follow along and you can find the code and the instructions in my GitHub repository and on devopsbyexample.io. All right, so let's start by uh, installing the Helm 3 plugin and we're going to run Helm plugin install and then the link for the plugin. All right, the plugin is installed. Now we can list all the plugins and we can see that S3 plugin installed, the version is 10.0 and we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and create the bucket where we're going to store all the charts. I'm going to call it helm.devopsbyexample.io and I'm going to use default region US East 1. All right, bucket is ready. Now let's run Helm S3 version and we should be able to see Helm version V3. Now let's initialize our private repository and we can run Helm S3 init and provide the bucket. It will create charts and also it will create and upload index.yaml. Let's take a look. If we go to that bucket, we can see that there is a folder charts and index.yaml. Now let's uh, give it a name. So in order to work with this particular repository, we would love to use the name and I'm going to call it private. It's pretty much the same as you would add stable and you would reference to the stable GitHub repository with open source charts. In this case, I'm going to define my own private and I'm going to point it out to uh, S3 bucket. Now let's list all the repository that I have. And I have only one single uh, private repository. Let's uh, generate dummy uh, simple hello world chart. Let's just take a look what we have. And we have the empty charts folder, bunch of templates, uh, chart.yaml with the default values and then it uses by default nginx so i'm gonna i'm not gonna change anything in this chart i'm just gonna use it as is and upload to s3 now in order to upload it we need to archive it so and we, we need to use the following command helm package hello world now let's upload this file to s3 and to upload we're gonna use helm s3 push command and then we're gonna provide the path to that archive and where we want to upload it. So we have added our um, repository and called it private. So we're gonna upload it to our private repository. And let's take a look. If we go to our S3 bucket and we can see that the chart was uploaded to S3 and now it's here. And to verify that it's searchable, let's run Helm search repo private and we should be able to see our, our own generated chart. And it's here and default version 010. Now let's install it. Let's install in default namespace and we're gonna call the release hello world. And that's the key. We're gonna be using not the local folder, but actually remote S3 bucket and the private Helm chart repository. And this is optional. It's by default, it's going to use the latest version and we have only one single version in there. But just to show you that you can actually use the reference to the version, we can provide this as well. So let's install this to our Kubernetes cluster. And let's list all the charts in Kubernetes and we can see that it was successfully installed and status deployed. Please like this video, it helps a lot. Check out my another video about Helm tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.